Welcome, Branislava. Thank you for coming to talk to us today. Thank you for inviting me. And you're the link convener for the new network, I yes. think, on gender and education. Yeah. Can you tell me what's the main idea that brings people to your network? Uh, gender and education network is really the newest era network. We were uh, founded or established two years ago. It was in 2017 during the Copenhagen uh, conference. So this is our uh, second uh, second uh, conference. And uh, I also would like to say that uh, 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 setting up a new uh, 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 network, uh, gender and education network, doesn't mean that gender issues were not discussed within era. They, 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 they were. But the problem is that the gender issues, the discussion on gender issues was scattered over several era networks and somehow subsumed under their main, main thing and thus covered partially. That is a reason why a new gender network was necessary. Uh, and what's the kind of topics which you're discussing in your network? There are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of top topics uh, we, we are discussing. Uh, they are focused on gender inequalities within the area of education. Uh, they are, for instance, uh, gender inequalities in education institutions, including schools and especially universities, uh, LGBT uh, plus uh, uh, experiences in education, sexuality in uh, education, gender sensitivity of uh, national curriculum and uh, gender sensitivity of teaching practices, etc. And then if we look at Europe as a whole, how does your network contribute to European educational research? Gender education is conceived and it really operates as a forum, as a space for meeting researchers from different, from different disciplines and from different countries. Uh, enables in enabling in, in that way to uh, one uh, more holistic approach and uh, uh, more comprehensive uh, coverage of uh, gender gender issues. And I suppose your network has a key role in terms of seeing how educational research benefits society as well. Yeah, whole. of course, of course, of course, uh, all. all uh, uh, that uh, uh, what I mentioned uh, has a, a purpose to to support or and to contribute to the higher quality uh, research for the benefit of education itself, gender uh, equalities in education and societies. The, the whole issue of gender is important to ERA and its mission statement as well. Yeah, of course. Uh, as uh, uh, its title uh, says, uh, uh, ERA is an European uh, research uh, association uh, bringing together researchers from uh, uh, different European uh, countries, but respecting national context and national differences no, Brian Sava, I know you're a new network and you've only been set up two years. But think about those two years. Is there any one thing that you're particularly proud of that you've achieved in that time? Uh, we are especially proud uh, because uh, establishment of the gender and education uh, network 
up to now, so far, uh, has received a lot of contributions. A lot of contributions from uh, not only European, but also from non-European countries, uh, uh, which says that gender inequalities uh, within education area are still a global problem, widespread uh, problem, uh, which deserves attention not only of researchers, but also of policy, policy makers. And what, we also uh, uh, received a lot of contributions for, uh, from uh, young researchers, which is also very important. It says that young researchers are interested in gender in, uh, inequalities in education and that they will continue to explore them. Does your network have any links to any groups or organizations outside the area? Yeah, of course. Uh, one of the goals of our uh, network is to develop, to develop, uh, to develop uh, uh, various formats of cooperation with other ERA networks, especially with those network uh, uh, which research areas in certain uh, aspects uh, relates to gender issues and uh, very important for us that we have very good cooperation with the uh, Young Researchers Group. This year we had one workshop for young researchers in order to keep them informed uh, about uh, gender and education network and gender research generally. Now, when people make a submission to come to your network at the ERA conference, what are you looking for in that submission? Of course, we, we, we are looking first of all uh, at topics, whether it is in line with our research area and with the uh, main theme of the conference. And of course, we we are we look at the quality of, of the contributions. And there's a personal question for you: mm -hmm. What do you like about ECER? Uh, ECER uh, is uh, uh, provides us an opportunity to learn more about research experiences of other uh, researchers. What? Uh, topics uh, they research, how they research them, how they taught them, and uh, uh, this uh, opportunity to share ideas, to share experiences, help us to enrich our knowledge. So, mm -hmm. Is there anything else which we've not covered now which you'd like to say? I would like to use this opportunity to invite all gender uh, researchers to come to, to, to join Gender and Education uh, Network and to take uh, advantages of being a Gender uh, and uh, Education Network member. Thank you very much okay. for coming and talking and good luck with your network. Okay, thank you very much.